Hey guys, it's Daniel Lys Ah! She's back? No way is she back. I thought we'd seen the last of her when she took Will Smith's dignity and career, threw it in a dumpster, and lit it on fire. But, apparently, she's back. So Jada Pinkett Smith recently came out with her memoirs, and with the need to peddle books, she's been doing a lot of interviews. And in a recent interview, she dropped this huge bomb. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it right. because I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now. <laughs> yes. Y'all have been apart. Yeah. So with that, you, me, and the collective world put two and two together, and we realize that they weren't even together when he did this. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Fresh Prince. Look at the mask of my boy. And as if his reputation wasn't dead enough, she dug up the corpse, and like Weekend at Bernie's, she reanimated it just to humiliate him further. And hey, I thought it was dead. I thought there was nothing else left to humiliate, but she was able to find something, and that is actually really impressive. And what's equally impressive is she did this with such joy. It's like she was having the time of her life. And of course I had my own take on this and I was gonna make a video but I watched Pop Sykes video and his take was pretty much the same as mine and he's a licensed psychologist so I thought I was just gonna let it be. But then I saw another interview, a follow-up interview, where she talks about and supposedly clarifies their relationship. And after I watched that, dude I just knew I had to. Let's roll it. The whole, this whole journey, as difficult as it's been, has just brought Will and I closer in such an authentic oh, way. You know, instead of trying to be a thing, it's like just tearing all that down and finding what's true between us. Wow. And it's been beautiful. It's been difficult. It's been difficult. But beautiful. Because one thing people were really still concerned about or confused about right. really was, okay, hang on. They've been divorced in theory, but not on paper. Yes. They've been, they were not together, together but, but kind of pretended they were together. So I had trouble articulating right. exactly why that was. So now that you've had more time, right. why was that? We really yeah. needed time to get solidified yeah. because at the end of the day, Will and I love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to really figure out what we, what wanted, we wanted before we went into the world to say what was going on because we were in such, you know, we were just kind of in this very fragile place. And so now we're just super solid. Yeah. And so now I can actually talk about what the journey has been. Okay, wait, what, what is she talking about? I see the words coming out of her mouth, but she's not actually saying anything. I mean... It's so vague. And you know what? When I first watched that initial interview where she talked about them being separated, I thought that was really vague too. And you know the time that Red Table Talk when she admitted to sleeping with her son's friend? That was super vague. I mean, if you didn't know the context, you wouldn't even know what she was talking about. So what she's saying seems to be on brand, but nobody really knows what she's saying. Let's keep going. So Will talked to the New York Times or gave a statement, and this is what he says. Uh, we'll put it up on the screen. This is from the Times itself. The memoir Will Smith said in an email kind of woke him up. She'd lived the life more on the edge than he had realized and that she is more resilient, clever, and compassionate than he'd understood. And this is the quote. When you've been with someone for more than half your life, he wrote, a sort of an emotional blindness sets in and all you can do uh, and you can all too easily lose your sensitivity to their hidden nuances and subtle beauties. Dude, what does that mean? Lose your sensitivities to their hidden nuances and beauties. I mean, is this some kind of poem? Are you guys together or are you not? What is it? She doesn't give a straight answer and he doesn't either. I mean, 
Can you imagine the communication between these two? It must be horrible. Let's continue with this. Did it sounds like an emotional blindness? He didn't see you. Is that kind of what it was that he? he... I think yeah, that's so universal in relationships. He didn't see me, and I didn't see him, right? Yeah. And so we kind of had to go our separate ways to see each other. You uh, know, because uh-huh. when you're in a relationship and you're kind of just pulling at that person to be something for mm-hmm. you, you refuse to see mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. And so we had to go our separate ways mm-hmm. to really look at ourselves and see the blocks that we had in order to find a way back. All right. Can we get a translator here? What I think she's saying is they were separated, but... It was because of expectations or something like that and they're working their way back together. I don't know if it's clear for you guys, but I'm kind of lost here. If you find another great love or if Will finds another great love. There's no finding another great love and I think that's the point. It's like we are in a place now that we are in a deep healing space. And we are really concentrating on healing the relationship between us. So it may not be the divorce on paper anymore? There's no divorce on paper. I mean, not on paper. There might not be a divorce in theory anymore. Yeah, no. We really have been working hard. Oh. See? Okay. Well, I didn't know that. We might I was trying to take it. Well, I... Wait, wait, wait. totally missed that on the whole... That's the whole thing. So, wait. So, wait. Just so I'm 100% clear. You were divorced, not on paper. But now we might be a point where we're back together. We are working very hard at bringing our relation yes bringing our relationship together back back to a marriage again okay you can feel up until this point the frustration of the reporter trying to nail down a clear answer but jada's been super slippery but i think she got her now are you married or are you not it's a yes or a no question husband or wife so what is it back to a life partnership She was able to get out of that? Okay, Jada's like the master of the spin, the master of saying nothing, and the master of avoiding saying something if she doesn't want to say it. This interview goes on, and it's a jumbled mess of nothingness. And I'm going to spare you guys watching and reacting to that, but I can only imagine, like I said before, just trying to communicate with her. I mean, look at this reporter. You can feel this reporter's frustration. She's trying to get some kind of clear answer and Jada is not giving it. I mean, the first interview was pretty unclear and vague so that they needed a second follow-up interview. And in this interview, it's vague and unclear. It's difficult talking with Jada. And also needless to say, Jada is not the greatest partner. And I think That's not a surprise to anybody. If you look at the reviews on YouTube and the reactions to what's going on, I think it's pretty much a consensus. But I think that begs a bigger question. What is Will Smith doing with her? I mean, this guy can practically have any type of woman that he wants. And he chose her, this woman that is constantly humiliating him and throwing him under the bus. So what gives? And the reason is anyone's guess. It's all speculation. And we can speculate all day. I mean, maybe Will just truly loves her and wants to be with her. Maybe he's sadistic and he loves this type of treatment. Maybe he's staying together for the kids or he just doesn't believe in divorce. Or maybe it's something even more salacious than that. I mean, we've all heard the rumors, right? Maybe he's secretly gay. Maybe she has something on him. Maybe she's a witch and she bewitched him and has a spell on him. Who knows? I'm not going to go ahead and definitively say it's any of those things. And I would only say so with confidence if I was able to sit down with her and him and get the full story. So there is a lot of confusion here. But for me, one thing is crystal clear. If Will Smith had listened to the scientists he would not be in this situation. I believe he would have avoided marrying Jada altogether and maybe he'd be that leading man, that charming guy that everybody loved. But he finds himself in this situation. I did a video on social scientist Tai Tashiro on two things you should look for when choosing a mate. And I feel like if Will listened to that, maybe we wouldn't be here, but spoiler alert, 
Jada has neither of those two character traits. So, you know, I wish I had the truth. I wish I had something I can give to you guys that was more solid. But hey, we just don't know. But I do know one thing for certain. If someone treats you like Jada treats Will, run. Thanks for watching, you amazing person. I'll see you next time.